time for the workbook. Big ugly hand! Thank you. Okay, uh, this is the Let's Review section for Units 5 and 6. It's page 55 and 56, and Part A says Read and Write. So we're going to read the question, and then in this box, we can just find the right answer. So let's start. Number one says, where's the TV? Okay, TV is one thing, so we're going to look for it's. There are two here. It's next to the refrigerator, and it's in front of the sofa. So we can pick either of these, but I think that if it's a TV, probably it's going to be near a sofa. So I think that this one is the right answer. So let's write that. It's I T apostrophe S in front of the sofa. And then we can just cross that off like that. Okay. Number two. What does he like? Well, let's look for he over here. There's he likes grapes. Okay. He, a space, and likes, and grapes. Good. Cross that one off. Number three says, where's the sink? That sink's one thing, so we need to find an it is or it's. And there it is. It's next to the refrigerator, or fridge, if we want to make it short. So here we go. It's, it is, next to the, and refrigerator, R-E-F-R-I-G-E-R-A-T-O-R. -E -E All done. Number four, does he want yogurt? No, he doesn't. That matches, right? Does, doesn't, he, and he. Good, let's write that. No, comma, space, he doesn't. And cross that one off. Okay, and part A is all done. All right, and this is part B, and it says, look and write the question. Okay, so in these two units, unit five and six, we had a few questions. Let's just try to remember which questions we had. Okay, and now let's try to write the, an write the questions, sorry. All right, number one, we've got the answer. It's under the window. So I know they're asking where, the question they wrote is where's or where is the mm. and what's this this is under the window here and this is a bed so let's put in bed where's w h e r e apostrophe s the and then bed B ed bed okay number two the answer says she wants an omelet so I think we should be asking a what question. So maybe, what does she want? Good, what does she want? There's what, big W, H, A, T, space, does, space, she, space, want. What does she want? She wants an omelet. Perfect. All right, number three. He likes hamburgers. Okay, well this one we did, what does she want? So here, should we do what does he want or what does he like? Yeah, like, because this says likes. So, what, H, A, T, does he like? He likes hamburgers. All right, number four says, it's behind the sofa. Okay, and we already did one of these up here. So I 
people are asking for a wares, and a sofa's one thing, so let's go, where's the, and then what's behind the sofa? Is it a table or a mat? I think behind is right here, so we're gonna say it's a table. So let's go with where's the table. Where's, apostrophe S, the, the table is spelled T, a, B, L, E. All right, and part B is all done. Okay, uh, this is part C, and it's a crossword puzzle, and it just says write. So we're gonna use these uh, words of place, and just put them into the right spots here. And all of them are talking about the cat. Okay, so we're gonna talk about the cat and the sofa, cat and the fence, cat and the box, cat and the bed, cat and the cat, and cat and the table. And number one's already done, it's got a B here, so that's where we're gonna start. You can see the cat is behind and buh, buh, buh. here's behind. So let's write behind for this one. B, E, H, I, N, D, behind is done. Next, I think we'll do number four because there's an N here. All right, so here's four. Uh, hmm, is that next to or on or under or in front of or in? Well. This is the bed, so the cat is under. Let's use under. U-N-D-E-R, okay? Under is done. Now let's try to do number two, because we have one letter to help us. Number two is actually one, two, three words. That's what these black marks mean. They mean spaces. So let's see, number two, here's the cat, here's the fence. So I think this is in front of, in front of. Yeah, that's right. So here we go. I N space F R O N T space O F in front of. Done. All right, the next one is uh, why don't we do number three? Because there's only two letters here. Number three is here. Oh, that's in. Two letters. In. Okay. And now, how about number six? Because it's two letters too. Here's six. That's on. N. All right, and only one's left. Next to number five. Yeah, next to the cat is next to the cat. Maybe they are brothers or sisters or just friends. All right, and part C is done. Okay, this is the last part. It's part D, and part D says connect. So match the line, trace, and write. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and just start. Number one's here, so we'll trace, we'll connect the line, and we'll just trace. He likes cheese. Oh, okay, so each of these sentences, we are just going to tell what he or she likes. All right, number two's here, so I'll trace the line, so I'll connect it backwards to here, and these are pancakes. So let's write that. She likes Pancakes. Looks like she likes pancakes with uh, maple syrup on the top, just like me. Oh, and some butter too. And here's number three. It's a boy. Let's connect him to, ooh, that's pasta. And say, it's a boy, so he, he, like, because of our rule, he, she, it, add the S. He likes. Pasta, P-A-S-T-A, -A. pasta, and done. Okay, good job everybody, doo -doo -doo. good work.